Make Hack Boyd. And there's so much cool stuff here. Gotta show you around a little bit. So, Alistair, tell Hello. us a little bit about this memory. Okay, so this was salvaged from the ANU particle accelerator by one of our members. Um, it's some core memory uh, which dates back to I think the 1960s or so. There might actually be a date on this box. Maybe not. <laughs> um, so this is a grand total of eight bytes worth of memory and each bit is stored in each one of these little ferrite cores um, that's nested in the uh, array of wires there. So can you explain how the memory is stored and read? When a bit flips, uh, you see a change in magnetic field. Yep. That induces a, a very brief bolt voltage burst on, on the, the on the line. diagonal sense line. Yep. So as you write a bit, if it changes, you get a, a pulse on the sense line. Okay. So to write to core memory, you write sorry to read from core memory, you write the whole row to zero. Uh, sorry, it was bit by bit. You write each bit to zero. If there's a pulse, it flipped. If there's no pulse, it didn't flip. Um, then once you've, you've read the, the line, you have to rewrite it back by trying both drive lines again. Oh, I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you've read out of the memory, where have you put this? Uh, very temporary memory. Another memory. memory. More memory. <laughs> Delay, Delay, Delay lines. Delay lines, <laughs> actually, was generally the... Let's have a look at the, the core. Actually, this has been a return to the 60s. <laughs> You're finished! Oh, <laughs> finished what? Oh. Oh, awesome. The modified <laughs> LCA top. Are you filming? Yes! <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. It needs so more it's MCUs. As you can see, it's a pretty big space. They've got lots of tools here, lots of cool stuff. And there are some amazing projects that have been built by members. You can see lots of uh, crafty sort of things here, a lot more than at Melbourne Hackerspace, which is much more electronics oriented. You can see some props. There's some armor down here, which looks like orc armor from Lord of the Rings, as far as we can tell. The person who made it isn't here at the moment. I have this little tele video terminal, which one day I'm totally going to hook up to something. Uh, <laughs> It does work, it's an RS232. That's it sitting over there next to the fridge? Yep. yep. And uh, I have had various little toys going on it, but nothing serious, nothing long term. Mm -hmm. And what I have wanted to do, amongst other things, is to set up a bar style system like is in Berm Lab in Prague, where they have a barcode scanner and you scan your user ID and then you scan an item and it charges some account that you have. Mm -hmm. and you can also recharge it through scanning this other um, book of uh, recharge points when you drop money into the tin. Top up code. Yeah. yeah. So it's something that I wanted to do and I got stonewalled on something that was probably really trivial but just ended up... Just didn't get back to it. Yeah. One of those projects where I wasn't as motivated as I thought I was. Mm -hmm. We have our meeting table where we have meetings and arguments. Hopefully less arguments, more meetings. Um, okay, we have a 3D printer which is actually printing reliably for Yay! once. Incredible! Is it printing? I'm trying to work out what it is. What is it printing? <laughs> Um, so we have uh, some uh, computer workstations here available for our members to use. Um, over in the uh, corner, which is currently a sewing desk, we have our electronics area where we've got oscilloscopes and power supplies and soldering stations and electronics parts and all sorts of random stuff. <laughs> right. This is a secret project, so okay. not, not allowed to see it. I'm no, th this won't be posted until after the project becomes public. Oh, okay, fair enough. So, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Oh. So this is associated with what you are just wearing? Yes. Yes. No, <laughs> no? okay. Are you doing we can neither confirm nor deny. Sorry, I'm really bad at the no comments. Do you guys need some uh, LEDs or something to um, add to the... Uh, we can either confirm or deny that uh, request. <laughs> so I'm into all the cameras running. I'm into the DSD talk this afternoon, so what can I say? Over here we've got our community area, which is currently full of junk. Hopefully we'll be less junk in the short term. Um, all our members get our locker space available. Mine's full of Commodore equipment. We have more junk storage over here, but this area is far more interesting. So this is our Commodore area, 
Um, these are all working machines. So we've got a VIC-20, a C64, an Amiga 600 and an Amiga 2000. They all boot, they all work, so... And a whopping great TV to run them on. Exactly, because the obvious screen to use when you've got <laughs> a, a 1980s computer is a modern LCD screen. Of course. Um, this is our library, which contains all the old electronics magazines. We got donated a trailer load of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just couldn't bring myself to throw it out, so yep. it's resting here until it gets scanned. Over in this room, we have the uh, real brewery. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> so, yep. one of my guys does quite a potent home brew. It's mm -hmm. quite tasty, sometimes. Always potent, sometimes tasty. Yes. When you thought the hackerspace couldn't get any better, it has its own brewery. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated room. Okay, so let's wander off to the uh, machine area now. Okay. So, this was the very first group buy that Make Hack Void did mm -hmm. before we actually had a space, like a year before we actually had the space. Mm -hmm. um, so, it's a multifunction toolkit from Azito. It's cheap Chinese junk, mm -hmm. but it actually does the job reasonably well. Um, so it has a drill and a circular saw and a torch and some other, and a jigsaw in there. Mm -hmm. But the really cool thing is they all bond with the table in some way to make it better. So you, the drill turns into so a it's drill like a transformer. Press. Yeah. <laughs> so here is our woodworking area. Um, we've got table saws and drop saws and band saws and um, a lathe donated to us by Dr. Carl. Mm -hmm. I was quite happy with. Really? Yeah. Um, the famous Dr. Carl himself. Yeah, so um, Ruth and I were in Sydney for a skeptics convention mm -hmm. and uh, Dr. Carl had tweeted that he was clearing out some junk from his shed and did anyone want it? Mm -hmm. So I responded, oh yes please, we'd love it for our hacker space. Um, so now he knows all about Make Hack Forward. Wow. Um, so yeah. that is a lathe that has been touched by the famous Dr. Carl. Cool. Um, so over here we've got our CNC area. So we've got a CNC mill that... Um, belongs to me, which is from China, and it's driven by Linux CNC. Mm -hmm. um, we've got uh, a PCB engraver in the middle, which uh, has its own weird proprietary protocol, which Angus Grattan has been reverse engineering, and okay. now has some scripts to uh, convert G-code into it. Mm -hmm. um, and on the end, we've got a uh, Yamaha 4-axis CNC mill. It was originally designed for fabricating uh, jewellery, um, so it's really good for precision work, but not particularly strong. Mm -hmm. It doesn't run G-code. The only way to talk to it is through some weird proprietary program. And every time I go to hack it so it could run G-code, Adam gets angry. <laughs> so you're not allowed to touch it? <laughs> not yet, but one day. <laughs> okay. Um, so this area here is where Chris tends to do a lot of his fabrication. He's got some works in progress sitting on here at the moment. He seems to actually be quite prolific. We've got an uh, autopsy table here, uh, which we use for dissections. Um, <laughs> oh yes, and I can see that it's in the spill containment area, so the blood can, you can just hose it out and it's yeah, all Yeah, we've okay. actually got a drain in the floor, so all the blood can just drift out. Oh, on the so back here we've got our welding area. Um, pay no attention to the vast quantities of foam stashed around the welding area. <laughs> it's completely not flammable. Okay, I'll trust you on that. Um, so uh, the foam is actually a Warhammer Terminator outfit that one of our guys was building for Supernova. So there's a hand here with a whole bunch of servos to control the fingers. There is a helmet made out of foam. What so is that from? The helmet actually belongs to that Terminator outfit that was in the... Uh, oh, okay, yep. There are a couple of weapons here. And there's a helmet which I'm told was made as a paper craft sort of thing and then covered in resin. That is amazing work. It looks incredible. So that's actually come from Fallout 3. Okay. Oh, we've and also got chainmail, which has been made entirely by hand. Oh, that's really impressive. That's extremely labour intensive. Without anything else falling down. I'll just step back so we can see it. <laughs> That's 
<laughs> it's quite a weight to hold up. Very impressive. Can I put this down now? Yes, you can put it down now. <laughs> So what's the plan once the bulldozers come in? Find a new home. Oh, if anybody right. knows a place in Canberra where Maycac Wood can live, hopefully for cheap rent, mm -hmm. then please let uh, either myself or Adam Thomas know. Uh, you can email us at either president or vice president at maycacvoid.com. <laughs> this is a public community service announcement. So up on the mezzanine behind the Club Mate bottles, we've actually got two of the uh, Power Wheel style ride on kids toys. Mm -hmm. uh, the intent is that we're going to uh, mod those at some point into uh, autonomous vehicles controlled by Ross, the robotic oh, operating system. Yes. Um, That'd be very impressive. My guess is that what's likely going to happen is the UAV team will get hold of them first and run them on RG Rover instead. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, the lightning tour of our space. Okay, well thank you very much. It's very impressive. Thanks Alistair. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Thanks for coming, John. If you're around Canberra and you're into making stuff, come on down to Make Hack Void. It's very cool.